a TV meteorologist starting her own organization to empower other women on today's In This Together, presented by Target. Hey guys, welcome to In This Together. I'm Alejandro Alba. It's important now more than ever to support the groups and communities you belong to, which is why this El Pasoan built an entire organization on a single phrase. Mija, yes you can. Iris Lopez started the Mija Yes You Can project in March 2020, along with Crystal Saavedra and Shelby Montgomery, with the intention of growing it into a nonprofit that helps other women succeed. When I actually started in, in journalism, being a, a female in TV news is, is very tough. And I saw that there was women who, who needed help getting a voice in a male-dominated business. So I wanted to create this with that in mind but then it became something even bigger. So I wanted it to be a platform where women can come together, not be ashamed of their struggles, not think their struggle is any less than the other person's. There's something about wearing a shirt that says, Mija, yes, you can. I, I jokingly say it gives you superpowers, but it kind of does. Something about walking around feeling proud, knowing that I can do it. And the girl looking at my shirt, I want you to know you can do it too. Iris said she got the idea of the name from her mother, who would always call her Mija, a term of endearment in Spanish. Mija is something that my mom always says, Mija and Mijo, no matter who you are, we welcome you into our home and you get the name Mija or Mijo. And so that always stuck with me, Mija. And the phrase Mija, yes you can, for me growing up, I had these wild dreams, like ambitions, and my mom and dad were always there to say, yes you can, Mija, yes you can. No, I can't mom, yes you can. And because of that, look where I, this is why this is all created because they never stopped me from chasing these dreams. And so that's where the phrase came from, Mija, yes you can. But I really got passionate about wanting to make something for women. On its way to obtaining its official nonprofit status, the Mija project has already helped groups in need around El Paso, including Gigi's Playhouse, which helps children with Down syndrome and the Center Against Sexual and Family Violence. I said I want to be our own nonprofit, but it's going to be a process. It's going to cost a lot of money. So what can we do now while we're trying to get that? So right off the bat, I wanted to help other nonprofits. We started right at the beginning of the pandemic. So everyone was in need and we made it online. But the little shirts that we sold, we were able to make that donation and feed over 200 families in the El Paso and fighting hunger. So we got cash donations, Target donated as well. A gift card of over $200 and we were able to provide the shelter with school supplies, backpacks, monetary donations and a gift card to Target so they can supply their kiddos with back to school supplies. Iris says the stories of women they've empowered are what keeps them moving forward. I remember the first one, the very first story that someone had reached out. Mija, yes you can, got tagged and we'll read her story. Hers was she was going through um, dealing with breast cancer and so she was gonna go through her first chemotherapy session. And she took a picture of her shirt and she wrote a story on it saying that, you know, she's she was going through this and she's feeling tough, but she remembered that Mija, yes I can. And she got through it. And then months later, we followed her and I followed her journey and she was able to, you know, ring the bell. And she she was able to go through all of that knowing, yes, I can, yes, I can do this. And she rang the cancer, cancer bell to show that it was her last treatment. But the one person who keeps Iris inspired is her 10-year-old son. I mean, I'm a single mom. And I hope, I, there's times where I, I feel like I'm missing out on him because I stay up till 2 a.m. You know, let me make you food real quick, do this and that, you know, and I apologize to him that I'm always working. But he assures me that he's um, he's proud of me. He'll just randomly come up to me and hug me and say, I'm proud of you, Mom. One day I think you'll be able to do this. And you're making other people happy, so it makes him happy. So it, it's tough because it's taking time away from him. But it makes me happy that I'm able to show him that if you got a dream, if you got a passion, go for it. Because you never know whose life you can change in. And I hope I'm changing other women's lives and I hope I'm changing his life to help him grow an appreciation for women, the hard work we do. And for him too, maybe when he's older, he can create mijo. Yes, you can. The sky's the limit. Once they are recognized as a nonprofit, Iris hopes to provide scholarships through the Mija project. That's the one thing I really want to start to do for not only young future professionals, but also women who had to put their 
professional careers on hold, whether they had a kid and they put it on pause or they didn't have enough money and they're like, I'll get back to it when I have the money. We kind of want to help them get back on that. But above all, she wants to amplify the message, Miha, yes you can, to women all over the world. Never underestimate the ability of a determined woman because, I mean, my big thing is in the professional world sometimes they're too young or they're too old or they're not experienced or they're inexperienced. But from what I've learned is when a woman is determined to do something, it's going to get done. Because Miha, yes you can. And yes, we did. If you'd like to support the Miha project, we'll be leaving a link to their website in the comment section below. That's it for today. We'd like to thank Target for sponsoring this episode as part of their belief in good we can all afford. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, we're all in this together.